Hello YouTube, this is Sean Patrick Ryan Smith, the Pipe Smoking Specialist. Today's episode is called Lollipipe, because today we're going to talk about the different kinds of pipe tobaccos and the ones that I like to smoke. It's also going to give you a chance to look at what you can buy and what you should try. Pipe tobaccos are kind of like lollipops. They come in different flavors, they come in different styles. But the good news is, as far as styles, you want to get yours pretty shredded. Unless you're one of those guys that likes to try to shred his own tobacco at the house. I've seen those. The brick tobaccos. Not a big fan of those. However, due to that fact, I always buy mine pre-shredded, and I even got some homemade from a friend of mine. So we're going to look at this first batch here. This here is called Vision Hunter. It's a Native American-owned pipe company. It's also a pipe tobacco company. The good news is you can get these at most pipe tobacco stores, I'd say, for about 10 bucks. This one is called Fire. This one is called Water. I'm actually about 10 bucks a bag. And they also come in different flavors. The other two are Earth and Air. And of course, the four elements of our great planet. Very good tasting. Very earthy. They also are very good aromatics. Nice smell. Not going to offend too many people. On the other hand, maybe you want something with a different kind of melody of flavor, and so we bring you this. Costs you about the same, maybe a little bit more. Our good friend, Smoker's Pride. As you know, I tell I smoked most of this bag, and I got most of the flavors. It comes in rich flavored, mellow, menthol. Cherry Cavendish, and last but not least, whiskey flavor. They taste really good. They give different kinds of flavors. I actually like combining the vanilla, which I do not have on me right now, with the <coughs> cherry flavor to kind of get a nice, you know, cherry cheesecake kind of flavor. Then, of course, you got them out of the ones. Or if you want something that's a little bit cheaper and lighter on the wallet to buy, that's why I brought these. These are called Super Values. You can buy these mostly at PipeCigars.com. You can get most of your pipe tobacco shops. I got these at a smoke shop up in Alaska, so it worked out for me. They really taste good. They actually do taste like chocolate and buttered rum, which are the two flavors I just had. Yeah, and sometimes you might want to combine the flavors together. Get something that tastes good out of it. Tastes like you're smoking, oh, you know, like other things like a Milky Way candy bar. Tastes pretty good. The good news about that flavors, those flavors, is that they're cheaper to buy. You can buy them usually in bulk. I could probably get these out of PipeCigars.com magazine for a few bucks. For reviewing on the next video I do tomorrow. So if you want something that tastes really good. So it smells really good when you smoke it. Those will be the ones you want to get. Now, this next batch, I'm probably going to get a little scrutiny, but that's all right. I like it. I think it's great. Is this little piece? You can buy it also on PipeCigars.com, and you can smoke it at home. It's our good friend Captain Black. I like it. Again, it's very aromatic, very tasty. Very mellow too, it ain't lying. Nice thing about Captain Black, as you no doubt see, is that unlike the other packers I've shown you, that actually comes in a can. Now, I know the Dagners are gonna say, well, you know, that's like 70 bucks a can, and yeah, they're right. But on the other hand, if you like Captain Black like I do, or you want something nice to start out with that you might think would be a good smoke. Or you're just one of those guys that wants to do a little try for you buy, Captain Black would actually be the best because it also comes in pouches too, which is really cheap. That can right there, for example, cost me about $30. It'll cost you usually more depending where you shop. However, sometimes Pipe Cigars does get the magazine out. If you want my advice, go to them, start looking at what they offer, see how much they're going to give it to you as far as price is concerned. Or, 
You can open this little, little can. Little thing called half an empire tobacco. Again, it's like Captain Black, very mellow, very burly. Comes with about two flavors. Again, it'll cost you about 20 to 30 bucks a can, depending where you shop. However, like Captain Black, it's something you might want to start out on a starter pipe. You don't want to smoke something really strong or something really flavorful. This would be the one. It's very mellow, not too strong, tastes really good, and it's actually a good smoke nonetheless. Then finally, we come down to the other two very good pipe tobaccos. Especially for you veteran pipe smokers, you should try offering this to your friends. This lovely little can here, this is a familiar one to some of you guys on YouTube, is Orlick. Orlick actually comes in many new flavors. They even got a new one. It's a Kentucky brand, but I can't remember what it's called. This smokes well with my stand well that I showed you in that one video, that little short poker puff that I got. I smoked this in it. This stuff here is very aromatic and it tastes great. Mellow mixture, the golden mellow mixture, tastes a little bit like bacon, smells a little bit like it too. But this still here is a good smoke. If you want my advice, you want to buy something a little cheap, buy the pipe tobacco smoke by all shrewd judges and buy yourself a can of Orlick. On the other hand, this definitely is one you're going to want to look at. You can even ask Miss Skeeter, I guarantee she'll back it up, the Orlick. And the Dagners will back it up because they'll back up Orlick as well. You can always smoke our other good friend, Frog Morton. Rog Morton is really good and tasty. This here on pipes and tobacco, will cost the pipes and cigars, I mean, will actually cost you about, I'd say what, seven bucks a can. You can also, you can also buy this in the bulk tin sets, which will cost you about 60 bucks. Actually, no, they have about 50 bucks, depending if they got a sale. And you get all the flavors of this, not just this. I bought this on its own, it's costing about 12 bucks. The whole set, all five or six flavors, cost about fifty dollars. And last but not least, my mom in the back for all you on YouTube. Last but certainly not least, if you're like me and you got a good friend, you can usually buy something really cool. This here came a friend of mine. It's homemade. He made it for me in bulk. It's a cherry cheesecake flavor. Smells really nice, tastes really good too. And last but not least, this came from a friend of mine when I was still up in the army. And that's right, his own homemade stash. This is actually called the Secret Stash. I smoked a bit of it, tastes really good. I don't know how he did it, I don't even ask how he did it. But, why it tastes good. The zombie you can actually get from friends of yours. It's all about knowing where to shop, it's all about knowing where to go. And if you really like smoking pipe tobacco, this would be the way to do it. Find some good friends that don't mind selling it to you, or better yet, getting some best friends to whip you up a certain amount of batch and allow you to actually make some. Dagner brother, now Dagner will uh, tell you he makes his own at home, which is pretty good. If you got a friend like that, ask him. Ask him how you would make it. Mix some stuff up at the house. You might actually find yourself enjoying your own creation. Personal, like I said, or like I said, you could buy two different pipe tobaccos, like the buttered rum and the chocolate there, and make something out of it. Or you can mix a little bit of your Smoker's Pride cherry with vanilla. It gets a nice vanilla ice cream cherry flavor. Well, folks, that about wraps us up. Like I said, you know, any comments that are coming in, hey, you know, drop them. It was appreciated. Also, I'd like to thank all the people that have subscribed so far, including Ms. Skeeter. Thanks for inviting me to the YTPC. It's always a pleasure. Also to Mateo, your friend here from Arizona. To the Dagners and anyone else on there, including the Pipe Pastor. It's a pleasure seeing all you guys and keep up the good work. On the next episode, however, we're going to be talking about pipe tools, things you can get, ashtrays and whatnot. That way, you can actually get different kinds of tools to clean out your pipe, what you should use to clean your pipe, what kind of pipe cleaner you should buy. It's also going to be the first feature episode where we're going to use Pipes and Cigars magazine to get some of you novice pipe smokers into looking online. Kind of gives you an idea where to start looking, just in case you don't have anything good in your local tobacco shops. So until next time, for all of y'all, this is the 
Pipe smoking special saying, sorry, we're on radio silence.